There are no FDA approved treatments or vaccines for the coronavirus pandemic currently, but drug makers are scrambling to fix that. I don't think we've seen anything like this as far as several dozen drug makers rushing to the call to develop different therapeutics against this virus. So there are three main efforts I'm watching for these near-term repurposed drugs. One is called remdesivir. Remdesivir was previously tested as an Ebola treatment. It's being tested in patients who have already been infected and have moderate or severe cases of COVID-19. It's a broad spectrum antiviral, meaning it's not targeted at one specific function, but sort of has an activity that could be applicable against a range of viruses. There's an HIV drug called Kaletra that's being tested in some clinical trials and, and Avvi, the drug maker behind that, has donated that in quantity to China for that testing. Chloroquine is an old generic anti-malaria drug. This drug was first approved in 1949 by the US. So there's a long safety profile where we understand the toxicity and how to take the drug. It's very unclear at this point if it'll work in coronavirus. There's been a lot of anecdotal reports of success. And some countries, including China, South Korea, and even Belgium, have put chloroquine directly in their treatment guidelines for coronavirus. So in the medium term, we're watching companies like Eli Lilly, Regeneron, and Verb Biotechnology. They're all developing monoclonal antibodies, which are essentially drugs that would fight the virus and there's a potential that they could be used prophylactically, which means when you look at a high risk patient population, healthcare workers, family members of COVID-19 patients, those could be the targeted groups for a prophylactic antibody, which would essentially protect that person from being infected. This is very early research. None of these are in clinical testing yet. They're still being developed in laboratories, but the speed of this pandemic has forced drug makers to act as quickly as possible. In the long term, vaccines are the gold standard of drug development with infectious diseases. Vaccines can prevent infections before they even occur, unlike the short term or medium term treatments, which would generally treat patients who already have severe or moderate cases of COVID-19. That also requires much longer testing to make sure a vaccine is safe and effective. You don't wanna give a treatment to hundreds of millions of people that might make them worse or not work against the virus. So this requires extensive clinical testing. But the drug industry is also moving extremely rapidly at developing these vaccines. The first clinical trial of a vaccine has already started. The first patients have already received doses of an experimental vaccine against the coronavirus. So while that trial has just begun, it's a long road. It's kind of the first mile in, in a marathon for vaccine development. Top US health officials have estimated that timeline at 12 to 18 months to determine if a vaccine is safe and effective against this virus. The questions that remain are about price and access. Who would get it first and what would the price be?